So I don't have a ton of space in my garden and fall is right around the corner. I want to get my fall vegetables in my garden. So I have my pepper plants in this bed right now. So instead of digging them up and throwing them out, I'm going to be turning a few of these pepper plants into bonsai trees. So let's garden on. So there's this nursery about an hour outside of Houston, Texas in Seabrook, Texas called Mass Nursery. That's with two A's. They're a good place to pick up some bonsai trees. They have a ton of bonsai trees for sale, but it's also a good place to pick up some bonsai pots. While I was there a few days ago, I picked up three pots to transform these pepper plants into some bonsai trees. So obviously the first step in turning these pepper plants into bonsai trees is to dig them up. Why I do this, I need to be careful. So this is a ghost pepper right here. I think this is going to make a good bonsai. So I'm going to just gently go around the base of the plant so I don't damage it too much. And try to go kind of deep so you get all the, the roots and everything. And I have a special bonsai soil that I'm going to use for this too. So I'm going to mix the original soil with the new bonsai soil too. You don't want to do 100% of the bonsai soil or 100% of this garden soil. So obviously this plant's pretty big, so we're not gonna use this whole thing and we're gonna do some heavy pruning right here. So here's our plant right here. Let's go ahead and put this into the bonsai pot. So the first step you need to take is get your wiring and your screens ready. So I have these screens off at Amazon, same with these wires. It's always better to have wire that's a little too long and you can trim it later. So you need to make these into like a V-shape. Try to get them relatively the same size. What you're gonna do is take your first wire, put it through the first screen, and then take the other end of that first wire and put it through the second screen. So you're basically making like a V-shape. I have two holes in this bonsai pot, but some bonsai pots might have four. It just depends on what kind of pot you have. Try to get the wire flush against the bottom of the pot. Now I'm gonna take the second wire and do the same thing. So as you can see, we have our anchor wires in place. So I'm gonna start this off by adding some of this bonsai soil to my bonsai pot. So this soil has a lot of lava rock, pumice, pine bark, and clay. So this is gonna help keep that drainage up because you need really good drainage with bonsai trees. So I also wanna mention that this is a great way to overwinter your pepper plants by turning them into bonsai trees. So I got my bonsai tree. This, again, this is a ghost pepper. It has a lot of that native soil in it, which we need to keep the pepper plant nice and healthy. I was gonna find the front, basically the way I want this plant to face, try and let some of that soil seep into that bonsai soil. Now I'm gonna add more of the bonsai soil to this and start filling it in. So I got this stick right here, is basically gonna fill in all the air gap. Because if there's air pockets around the roots, it could kill the pepper plant. So I have my anchor roots, I'm just tying these together to anchor the tree down into the pot. So here's the first tree. So I'm gonna soak this in some water for about an hour because this tree has been under some major stress. So I have another pepper plant in this bed right here that I think will make a good bonsai. This is a bell pepper. It's, I think it's called King of the North. But before I dig this plant up, I'm gonna prune it first. That way I don't have to do it afterwards. Another hard prune. I know it may seem hard to do, but needs to be done if I'm gonna turn this into a bonsai. So just like before, we wanna be careful digging this pepper plant up. We've got a ton of nut sedge in this bed, pretty much everywhere in Houston, it's a big problem. It's basically a weed when you pull it and it multiplies. It creates all these little tubers in the ground. So when you pull it, it just sends a signal to the plant to produce more of it. I don't wanna use any herbicides because I'm grow, I grow food in here, but it's all up in here. This nut sedge right here, just can't get rid of it. So here's the pepper plant right here. As you can see, we got a lot of the native soil, but I'm not gonna keep all of this. I just wanna keep the roots intact right now until I get it over to the, the pot. And just like before, we need to add the screens and the wiring to the new bonsai pot. So now what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of this bonsai supply soil to the bottom of this pot to cover the screens a little bit. 
So I got rid of some of the soil so it would fit in here. That's a perfect fit right there. So now it's time to fill in the rest with the bonsai soil from Bonsai Supply. I think the second one's gonna make a better bonsai than the first. All right guys, so what do you think of the second pepper bonsai tree? I think this one looks pretty good so far, especially, I especially like this trunk, how it curves. It definitely has some zen to it, so. We'll see in the future, so subscribe to see how this tree comes out in the coming months. So I only had three bonsai pots, so I was having a hard time choosing what pepper plant to make into the third bonsai. Then I saw this ghost chili over here, and I think it will make a great third bonsai. So let's go ahead and dig this one up so we can turn this one into a bonsai pepper. So I ended up doing a little bit of wiring with this third tree. Just shaping it up, nothing really special or any particular style. Just basically giving each branch its own space. But let me know in the comments what you would have done, how you would have styled this tree. But again, I was just doing my own take and just experimenting with some wiring on this tree. All right, guys, so that was how to turn a pepper plant into a bonsai so as you can see i did three of them this is a good way to overwinter your pepper plants so if you're looking to save your pepper plants for next year try turning them into a bonsai but if you found any information in this video helpful please leave a like and subscribe for more gardening videos thanks for watching